Hello, my name's Miranda and I'm a doctor. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw up and give a subcutaneous injection. I'm going to show you and talk you through the process in easy, simple steps so that you feel confident with the whole procedure. A subcutaneous injection is an injection which goes into the layer of fat just under the skin. The medication that I'm going to be using today is a hormonal medication that is used in IVF treatment, but the principle is the same no matter what type of medication you're using. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is get everything ready that you're going to be using. As you can see that I've got it all assembled here in front of me. We've got the alcohol swab. This is used to clean the top of a reusable medication bottle and it's used to clean the site where we're going to give the injection. This is the medication bottle. It's reusable and so we're not going to be using all of the fluid that's inside it but we're going to be drawing up a set amount from it. This is the syringe. This is a one mil syringe but they come in different sizes and really the size that you're going to be using is dependent upon the volume that is in the injection. Next, we've got the green needle. We use this needle to draw up the medication out of the bottle. It looks huge, but don't panic. We're not going to be using it to give the injection. We use a large needle at this stage just to make the drawing up of the fluid from the bottle easy. This is the yellow needle, and this is the needle which we're going to be using for the injection. You can see that it's much shorter, it's much finer, and this makes the injection process much more comfortable. And lastly, we've got the sharps box. We use this to dispose of the used needles and syringe, and also to get rid of the empty medication bottles. As I'm using a hormonal medication, this sharps box has a purple lid, but depending upon the type of medication, your sharps box may have a yellow or an orange lid. Now that we've got everything ready, we can move on to drawing up the injection. Before opening any of the packets, wash your hands thoroughly to make sure they are clean. Now open the syringe packet, but keep the syringe within the packet as we will not be using it quite yet. Then pull back and fully depress the syringe plunger. This is to make sure it is not stiff and has free movement when we do come to use it. Open the packets for the needles, but don't take them out just now until we need them in a little bit. Tear open the alcohol swab carefully along one edge so you don't tear the swab inside and take it out of the packet. Use the swab to clean the top of the medicine bottle. Put the swab to one side once this is done and let the top of the bottle air dry. We are going to be using the larger green needle first to draw up the medication. So take the syringe out of its packaging and gently push it into the opening of the green needle. You may want to rotate it a little to make sure it is firmly fixed into position. Remove the needle cover carefully. This can sometimes be a little difficult, so gently wiggle it back and forth, making sure it doesn't spring out and injure you. Take the medication bottle and hold it upside down at a slight angle. Insert the needle carefully through the grey self-sealing opening. Make sure the tip of the needle is in the liquid and pull back on the plunger, drawing the liquid up into the syringe. At this stage, you may find you get some air in the syringe. This is not a problem, although you do want to get rid of it. To do this, gently flick the syringe to get the air bubble to the top and push the air back into the bottle. You may need to repeat this a few times to make sure all the air is out. Continue to draw out the liquid until you get the amount you need. In this video, we're drawing out 0.5 mils. Once you have the amount you require and there are no air bubbles in the syringe, remove the needle from the bottle. 
There will be some liquid in the needle itself, so gently pull that back into the syringe. We now want to dispose of the green needle, and the safest way to do this is by using the groove in the lid of the sharps box, like so. Never resheath a needle in the cover it came in. This is a surefire way of risking injury by accidentally stabbing yourself with the needle. Now we attach the smaller yellow needle in the same way as the green, ready for the injection. Gently remove the cover from the needle, and you now need to push the small amount of air in the top of the syringe out. Do this slowly until you see a little drop of the medication come out of the top of the needle. So now we are ready to give the injection. There are various different places you can give a subcutaneous injection, and the choice is up to you. The most popular sites for self-injection are the tummy area, and this is a semicircle about one centimetre out from the belly button that goes from either side of the belly button and under it. Or you can choose the upper legs, anywhere there is a little bit of underlying fat. If these are not appropriate for you, there are other sites you can use, but you should discuss their use with a doctor or nurse. We are going to be injecting into the upper leg in this video, and in case you are wondering, the marks already on the leg are moles, not previous injections. The subcutaneous injection shouldn't leave a lasting mark. Expose the area and choose the site where you are going to be doing the injection. Clean the area where you are going to be doing the injection with the alcohol swab and let it air dry. If you are using the leg, the upper outer part is often most comfortable. If you are having regular injections, it is best to rotate the sites, so use one leg one day and the other leg the next. When you are ready to give the injection, take the needle in your dominant hand and with your other hand squeeze together the skin and fat. Hold the syringe roughly 90 degrees to the skin and push the needle firmly into the tissue. The needle is short, so don't worry that it is going too deep. Once the needle is in, try not to move it around as this is what can cause discomfort. Gently push the plunger down, injecting all of the fluid into the leg. Once all the fluid has been injected, pull the needle straight out and take a piece of cotton wool or an alcohol swab and put some pressure over the injection site. It can be perfectly normal for a bit of the fluid to come to the skin surface or a little bit of blood. Continue to put pressure on the site until any light bleeding has stopped or alternatively, you can put a plaster on the area. Now that you have done the injection, you need to dispose of the syringe and needle. Do not try to resheath the needle before doing this. They go straight into the sharps box, still attached to each other. This concludes the video on how to give a subcutaneous injection. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please like it, as it encourages us to make more videos. And if you think it might help someone else, why not share it? Goodbye and good luck.